We do vocal warm ups. You got a little, uh, okay, it's gone. Thank you. Mm. All right. All righty. And three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, Mazda Monsieur, bonjour to this train wreck of a fucking podcast. Yes, there will be swear words, so you may want to tell your kid to go for a hike. Go eat gums underneath chair or lick rocks on a sidewalk somewhere. This evening, we have a very, very special guest. Uh, this is the third and last... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Oh, my God. Last in a series? Last in a series of this weekly uh, geek podcast. I will be asking this mighty fan gentleman 10 questions that I've asked previous... Why can I think of that word? Uh, not host, but what's the not the host word? Host works. But you're not the host. I'm the host. Oh, I'm the you guest. Are, you're the guest. God yeah, yeah. dang it. Yeah, yeah, I'm the guest. Uh, yes, so the guest, I may fucking, yeah, let's try this again because I cannot fucking think of the word. You know what, though? You know what? Here's the thing. So hold on. You sure. could you could do that. Yes. But you could leave it in ugly warts and all because it makes people relate to you better. Because you know what? We all make mistakes. I failed, but I was successful at failing, so I like the way you think, Yeah, Mike. yeah, yeah. We don't have to, you don't have to hate this. You know what? All right. Because you know what, people are going to go, oh my gosh, I'm just stopping this podcast right now because he forgot guest. <laughs> his his uh, uh, guest, what I want to say here is my limited English vocabulary. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Monsieur, without further ado, my friend, a savant of comedy, filmmaking, audio producing, uh, a lovely guy, and I wish was my blood brother, although we're, we don't have the same mom. If I could pick a guy to be my brother, this mighty goddamn fine gentleman would be it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike! Thank you, I'm really happy to be here. <clears throat> and you're, and you're, I'm happy you're here. Your kind words have melted the, you know, my fat Aww. little heart. <laughs> so, uh, wow. I'm the last guest of this you're, series. You are the third and final guest of this series. Neat. Now, if you guys are still watching this because I totally muffed up the intro, get a life, but keep watching because it will get better, I okay. promise. Because I will stop talking, but let him it, talk. It can't help That's but get better thing. because there's going to be more of it, right? Was it Stalin said that quality, no, quantity is a quality of its own? Right? How like, often was Stalin like wrong? The right? Russian Stalin guy? Yeah. Yeah. How often was that guy wrong? Uh, <laughs> no comment because I don't want the. Uh, what's the Russian secret intelligence? Uh, KGB. Uh, KGB. Yeah, KGB. Yeah, yeah. If there's any of those guys left. Now, <clears throat> I think they're called the FSB now. Only you would know this, <laughs> Mr. Savant. The. Uh, you, you say Savant. I, do, I, I, I just call myself just like a gifted idi idiot. Sure, yeah, yeah. I kind of like that too. Gifted <laughs> idiot. Yeah, we, we can't use the R word. Like I know we said we're going to say swears, but we're not going to say uh, R word. And I think with the C U N T word is where I draw the line. Really, that's On my it? favorite word. So do I, as a Kirby enthusiasm fan. But uh, you uh, just, unless you're very trying to drive a point here, do not use that word. Oh, okay, because he's know what? about to blow his nose live. Into just little, my just little, just little, number, just little, like little, off, barely off even, barely even so moved, much. barely even moved. There's there. like nothing in there. I think he just wanted to get his handkerchief out of his. It's pocket just a little itchy. It's that's fancy. all. Fancy. I just wanted to oh, my nose a little bit. People think I'm a princess. They should meet. You should meet this guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. a bit of a princess. So, uh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. What's uh, the thing? Uh, the c word. Yes. So now. My partner and I are not married, but we we cohabitate, and she has kids. So I see them as my stepkids, right? Like if I was to right, my stepdaughter and I, we use that word with each other on the regular. 
like daily. We will call as each other this word. As long as you do not call your lady friend that. No, I don't no, care. no, no. We won't. Because do that. she is a lovely lady. Hi. We, we call the. Love you. We I call miss the, you. I'll be by soon for that lasagna dinner. We call the dogs the c word. We call each other the c word. We, you know, it, we we try to really lower the level of discourse. As much as possible. Let me count. Uh, Killmeister from uh, Motorhead says that word so perfectly, <clears throat> with such enthusiasm and and conviction. I, it's one of my favorite words in the world. But, anyways, what's your second favorite swear word? It's in French. Tabarnak. Ta- uh, really? The really? Yeah. Mon zst tabarnak callis. There you go. Wow. Sacrifice. Ladies and hey, gents. I worked on the French construction crew when there I was we a go. younger. <laughs> He knows his shite. I do. Hey, My uh, merd, as it were. Mr. Mike Savant, here's a question for you. Why doesn't McDonald's sell hot dogs? Why do, Why don't they sell hot dogs? They do not sell hot dogs. Why? I actually know this. You, t- you fucking tell I us then. I know this. I know this. Enlighten us. Well, because there's a cabal of deep state hot dog interests. What? Yeah, that want to keep the delectable hot dog meat out of the hands of the casual eating public. Like, you can only... Here's the thing. Hot dogs should be an easy food. Hot dog is a type of food that you eat, like, over the sink at three in the morning when you're half drunk, right? Hot dog is that... You ever do this move? You take a hot dog, throw it in the microwave, no paper towel... Right? No, no, no paper no, towel, no, no plate. You just throw it in there wherever Who it ends does up. That? It, it, some people do. You just lay it in there, and it gets all fat. You put it in for like a minute, and you watch it like double in size. And then when it comes out, you slide that molten hot hot dog on a piece of like white Wonder Bread, Never. fold it in half. Oh my maybe God. throw a little cheese whiz on it, eat it over the sink. Nope. You go. I'm drunk, and I just love this. And the first bite burns the shit out of your mouth, and you have like. A blister inside your mouth in the next two days because you're too drunk to know <laughs> any different. It. Yeah. But anyways, a hot dog is never a casual food. Like some places like A&W, right? They used to do the whistle dog. I don't think they do anymore. I would not know. Harvey's, I think, does a hot dog, but it's not like, it's not the main event. They want you to eat hamburgers. Right. Okay. That's why. Does question number two. Oh, that was the first question. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking we're already at like 10 minutes and 15 seconds in this. We could talk more about hot dogs if but you need to. I'm the guy editing this crap, so let's <laughs> move on to question number <laughs> okay, two. Okay. Thank you. What is, in your worldly travels, the best goddamn Wi-Fi name you've ever seen? The SSID of their pod. Oh, okay. Wi-Fi funniest to you or so I haven't run across too many of these in the wild because here's the thing I'll see them on the internet and you'll go that's clever but like when you are just at a hotel or if you're like out and about and you're trying to pick up Wi-Fi it'll always be like you know Bob's Wi-Fi yeah but but I think my favorite one is FBI surveillance fan Yep. Yeah, that's that's one of my favorite ones. Now, I actually I haven't seen Our that. Surveillance Van 2 or 3, which I've seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The best one would be FBI Surveillance Van number 5. I've seen I've seen this on my phone here in my apartment right now. I'm not kidding. More than likely be, uh, because of people at Williams Cafe, which I can still pick up from here. But, uh, yeah. It'd be a good way to communicate. You know, let's say you ha- you're you're let's say you live in an apartment building. Yeah. And you're like a married guy in a, like an unhappy relationship and you meet someone in the laundry room, <clears throat> you strike up a conversation. Maybe she had left her underwear there like one day and you like fold them up and you know, maybe there's like something over in over a period of world do you live But in? here's that would be the code that you send, you know. The code would be you change your SSID on your Wi-Fi saying Bob's out till Thursday. <laughs> and uh, you go, "Oh. <laughs> you know, there's no text, there's no text, right? There's no text 
uh, um, I guarantee mug. you, if people thought leaving this podcast, which they should, <laughs> they are not right now. Because I'm not saying I would. This answer was like, I'm giving pure good gold. I'm giving pure good. Gold. I'm giving good intel, right? Like, if if you want to cheat on your partner with like a woman in your or a man in your apartment building, and you need a clandestine way to communicate, Wi-Fi SSIDs are probably. <clears throat> Uh huh. The way to do it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How about this kind, sir? What is the most rid- ridiculous fact, useless fact you know? Oh man. And I know you're full of them, so don't don't oh, be man. modest right now. You C O N T. See what uh, I did there? Huh? Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. What's the most ridiculous fact I know? I know so many ridiculous facts. Well, give us top three then. If you can single one out, I have, I have faith in your abilities to answer this question. All properly. right, here's one. Of the, here's one I know. One of the largest retirement uh, communities, gated retirement communities in the United States, in the world, uh, this, is this place in Florida called the Villages. Okay. And in the Villages. It's like another town within a town, and there's no cars. Everyone drives around on golf carts, right? And uh, everybody has like this lives in this nice little retirement community, and they have all kinds of activities. But here's the thing that happens with all these old retirement people, retired people. Uh-huh. They have tons, and I mean tons, like Caligula levels of unprotected sex with each other. Because why wouldn't you, right? Uh huh. So that's not the fact. The fact is coming. <laughs> so here's the thing. Drum roll. They're, they are, they have, no, there's going to be a little bit. This is a little exposition to this story. But they have like a whole uh, code that they use to tell other people within their community about their kinks. Come on. No, it's, it's true. It's like the hanky code in like the San Francisco Come gay community. On. It's true, it's true. You know, like a yellow hanky means you are into like, you know, pee pee play, you know. I don't know, I, but I'm learning, keep talking. Okay, well, we're, we're, you get two facts for the price of one. Okay, <laughs> so the color codes oh are used God. by different colors of loofah, like those little, you know like you, you go to get a Dove body wash and it comes with that little scrunchy thing that you bring in the shower with you and you scrub with? No, but go on. Oh, it's like a little plastic thing. What would I fucking know about this it's shit? It's to exfoliate. I, I exfoliate with coffee grinds, sir. You bring coffee grinds in the shower? It, you could go look there right now, and there's a big tall glass of coffee grinds. No way. Grounds. Coffee grounds, huh. not grinds. <laughs> look who's learning facts today, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the thing. It's the scrunchies, these little scrunchy loofahs, Okay. Of different colors. They hang them from their golf carts. So if it's like, hey, I like, uh, they'll, they'll hang like a different color that says, I like getting tied up. Or I like, you know, getting a little spanky. Or I like groups. Okay, where and how the fuck did you learn this? The internet. <laughs> the internet tells me this thing. Because the reason I found out about this is because they were. Ta- I was tracking a story where they were tracking STIs in the retirement communities and I guess ground zero for venereal disease in the US especially in this one area of Florida was this place called the Villages which has like thousands of retired people and when you think about it it makes perfect sense if you're in your 70s do you care if you get herpes? it's one more pill to take so who cares exactly yeah I get chlamydia I don't care like I'm on borrowed time anyways I might as well go out like like, like a rock star (laughs) <laughs> right? And, you know, age-appropriate ladies who also want to party. I predict this this podcast vlog thing to be the most popular one because we talked about STDs. That's my just my pre- premonition. <laughs> Here's another uh, one for you. Okay. <clears throat> Pike, Kirk, Picard, Cisco, or Janeway? And why? All right. So which Pike? The original Pike from the original series, not the new one. Okay, Anson Mount Pike is awesome. The new Pike. That's a show I would watch all day long. 
you, sir, are the second person to have the exact same answer. He is so good. He's so good. But in the scope of your question, I'm I'm a Janeway guy. What? I love Janeway. Come on. No, here's here's the shut the front door. No, no. Star Trek Voyager was my Star Trek. It was the one I identified the most with. It was the oddball. The the Voyager w- was the f- the first Star Trek that was really close to the original, which was a starship on its own, fighting its own battles, surviving on its own, lost in space, right? So the first one was like, was it a seven year mission or 10 year mission, right? Um, so seven seven year mission, right? So it's kind of the same deal. The first Star Trek, they're out exploring, and Voyager is about to exploring seek out new life and civilization. Um, did you put Archer in that list? No, because Archer's not bad either. Enterprise doesn't get the respect it deserves. Back the, you know what? The theme song pissed me off too much. I could not do it. No, <clears throat> no. I'm gonna do a little whisper it's in my nose been again. A long a little whisper. Shoot me in the head. <laughs> whisper nose. No. Um. So I I actually don't mind Archer. So. If I was to rank Star Trek captains, I go Janeway, and I go Archer. Okay. Well. Everyone, everyone goes. Everyone goes Kirk or Picard. Picard, obviously, when it comes to the acting chops, he basically rebooted that whole franchise. Like Star Trek was dead until Next Generation. Star Trek would have never. Trekkies would have just gotten old and died off until unless Next Generation came along. So you know, Picard needs that respect for keeping that alive. Yeah, I love them all though. I love Cisco. Yeah, you know, here. I love Cisco. I, l- I like every Star Trek series, even good the answer. new one. What's that? Good answer. Good, good. Uh, this is a very spot like logic question, which I'm sure you will love Uh-oh. and probably want to talk about for the next fucking twenty minutes of. As we're twenty minutes into this, nineteen minutes. Anyways, let's move it. Uh, let's move it on here. Toilet paper roll. Yeah. Um, over or under? Neither. What? I just got shit for this the other day. Come on. Neither. By whom? My, my, my partner's mother. She came up and she just dropped this like offhanded comment about like, I don't know why the toilet paper roll is never on the toilet paper roll holder. So here's my secret. You know, like how the you know how the Hulk, always, Bruce Banner, always has his secret. He's always mad. <laughs> yeah, I never touch the roll that's on the holder. So if it goes empty, it's never me that emptied it. So I leave it there. What I do is I have a roll off to the side, and I like it because I get to go around the fingers twice. So and then you pull it off and you have a perfectly folded square. So you of have a paper. goddamn technique with this shit. It goes around the. I, I, you don't even think about it. I've been doing it all my life. Around twice, boom, and you slide it off and you have a perfect folded square, and it's just enough to do the business. Sometimes you need to do it twice. Depends on if you, <laughs> you eat that day. <laughs> how about this? In one sentence or a few words, how would you sum up the internet, the World Wide Web? What does it mean to you, Savant Mike? Tell us. Honestly, I have two sentences. The first, the first sentence is, I think it was a mistake. I think the internet was a mistake. Everybody said that. This is funny. The internet. The internet is both the best thing and the worst thing that has ever happened to humanity. Okay. Elaborate. Well, do you remember all those weird people... That existed before the internet, yes. and I mean criminals and weirdos and people. You know, it used to be that you got to live, you had to live with a certain degree of shame. Like not everybody, not everybody should be allowed to be who they are. Okay. Something sometimes, some things, and I, I mean like the criminal elements, like people who do bad things. Right? I should not. I shouldn't be able to find. If I'm a really evil person, I shouldn't be able to really easily find a community of international evil people to be into the same thing I'm into. 
right? Like it, sure, yeah. And you could you could delve into like I'm not going to stress it on like what kind of evil things that could happen, but it used to be that person was evil, but he kind of was was evil in a bubble. Yeah. Now people are evil in groups. And he now has access to how to make a pipe bomb, for instance. Or, yeah, or like to exploit people that shouldn't be exploited. Right. Or people being fucking racist, right? Like racists. America. Yeah, not even just America. Just like racists basically get to keyboard. You know, it used to be, listen, I have more respect for old school racists because you had to get a sheet. You had to poke holes in it. You had to burn a cross. You had to go places and do stuff like that. Like, on one hand, you go, yeah, these are racist. But on the other hand, you go, these are really high effort racists. And they make a really good, uh, they make a, a really good uh, mechanism for you to identify and get rid of them. But nowadays, apparently, a, you, you, can have, you can find racists on your uh, next door, right? Just because. Yep. So, there's that. But on the other hand, I saw a guy stuff his testicles into his butthole once. And what? I don't... Yeah, I saw a guy stuff his testicles into his butthole. Now, I... I there was no... You know, like, it didn't, didn't do anything for me sexually, but it just has, a, like, a, like, a human engineering feat. Like, just imagine what that... The fortitude that you'd how have How many to, years of training you must have got. My gosh, yeah. like, how many times did he try that and failed? That's, you know, you, uh, you know so also... I really regret asking you that question now. <laughs> Seriously. Also, also, if you want to learn how to do macrame, it's, it takes you five minutes to find the instructions. So okay, I guess that's good. let's move this along before we lose the last three viewers we have. You're not right going to lose any viewers because your viewers are going to love this one. <laughs> Next question: Gates, Jobs, Zuckerberg, or Musk? Is this fuck Mary Kill? Who is your favorite visionary? Oh, who's my favorite one? Well, or you could do fucking kill if you want. That, fuck, that, fuck Mary Kill. Sure. Okay, give me three. Gates, Gates, Musk, and Zuckerberg. Yeah. It's no Steve Jobs in there, eh? No, jo- it's Gates, Jobs, Zuckerberg, and Musk. <laughs> All right. So that's four. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll take. Well, Steve Jobs gets a pass. He was a visionary, but I thought why? He, I, well, because he's dead. And he's the biggest fucking jerk of them all. Sure. He was a visionary, though. He was that kind of jerk that would make things... You know how like, sometimes an asshole can make things happen? Yeah. Right? Like, the guy and the guy definitely made his mark on the world. But Gates would donate billions and billions of, millions of dollars to, you know, eradicate Ebola and uh, polio and drinkable water to African countries... Then Jobs just goes ahead and builds himself a four hundred fifty million dollar yacht that he di- died before the thing was even done. Now going back to your other question about yes. the internet, the internet tells me that Bill Gates has tried to put microchips into people through vaccines. Yeah, and he owns the fucking <laughs> patent to uh, Corona, apparently COVID nineteen. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no. Um, okay. I think I would fuck Elon Musk. I think I would marry Bill Gates. Smart. And I would kill the Zuck. <laughs> Zuckerberg has, as a as a tech, Zuckerberg doesn't even rank in the in in the tech visionary. He made this platform, Facebook, for horny dudes to ogle college coeds, right? Like when you hear him now. And when he talks about his like lofty sort of goals, right, right, I don't buy any of that because Facebook was founded with CIA money. What? Believe it or not, is it conspiracy theory. Here, no, it's folks? not a conspiracy theory. You can actually, if you Google CIA funding in early Facebook, because like there is there is a well documented paper trail of investment in. The early Facebook, you know, and what got them off the ground? They, they now, did they, with Zuckerberg and Harvard are the twins that apparently owned. I did associated with the company. I don't know if he, like I wouldn't say that Zuck went out and then like solicited it. I just I'm just in terms of money coming in. Someone saw early on that there was a potential for some fuckery there, and decided to cash in. That being said, 
Facebook, even though I'm on it all the time, it's kind of a burning trash heap. Yep. Yeah, nothing makes me angrier than Facebook. How about Tom from MySpace? Do you remember that dude that was friend with everybody? Yeah. I kind of miss that guy. Was he your friend? It was everybody's friend. You had no choice. He was your first friend. Oh, that's right. The minute you joined MySpace, I kind of wish MySpace would... I, I don't think they got sold or what, but they just disappeared. At least it was music related. And they just would have turned into Facebook. I don't know, but I kind of miss MySpace. That's all I know. I miss Tumblr. I miss Tumblr used to Tumblr, be a, yeah. Tumblr used to be good. They're still around. They're still around. I went back in the, uh, not not too long ago, and it's a bunch of people posting porn now. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> but like, I don't need any. I, okay, it's 2020, and we're all locked inside. Does yeah. anybody need any more porn? With like, are we free good with, access to you porn? Are we are we good with Premium porn? Premium access. Are we to you porn. Are, are we good with porn now? I think we don't need. Like, is anybody even making porn? Why do people make porn? Makes no sense to me. We have enough porn because they want to entertain others and say, "Hey, see, that's me." I bet you if you took a porn movie and then flipped it and gave it a new title, they'd think it's new porn. You could recycle your porn. Probably. It's like turning your underwire inside out when you're on a camping trip. Which makes me think, a couple of days ago, I was thinking to myself, there's this thing in the server tech world called dedupe, which means you do not have the same data saved two or three times on the server. It dedupes the data. And on some site, you get people stealing videos from other sites, uh, other users, over and over and over. And like, there's a well-known known fact about the porn industry is this. the first high-end cameras always get bought by the porn industry. Same thing with server rooms or technology. The porn industries have very, very deep pockets. Oh, yeah. And why do they not do dedupe on YouPorn or whatever other site there might be? Why are they not doing this? Why would they, though? Like, for instance, if they have four videos that people would go to that still served up an ad, they're still making money. Yeah, I guess I guess it's, yeah. I just, but, I mean, is the adver- advertising money worth more than the server room? Because I guarantee you that a site like YouPorn or whatever, um, RedTube, for instance, um they more than likely have bigger servers than Google. A hundred percent. That's my theory. I always thought that if you wanted to post, let's say this podcast, right? Yeah. This vlog. I think you would get more affiliate money, more ad money, if you posted it on you on like Pornhub or something. Show us your tits. No, no. And then I can a, post it on. It there. could just be non-porn. Um, you, you, you could just you could put anything on these platforms. A lot of people think it's just porn, but you could put you could upload <laughs> anything to those platforms, and there's already people there, and there's not sense they're not censored. You could put anything up there uncensored. You're definitely onto something here. That's brilliant, actually. Whoa! And you get ad money, and the, and and the ad money they give you is better than YouTube ad money. Okay, we got to move on here because we're at 30 something minutes. Well, what happens if it goes too long? It's just more editing for me. I'm lazy, man. I don't want to oh, edit this but we're crap having for fun. hours and hours. Yeah. <clears throat> you will love my next question. Though. All right, all right. I guarantee you okay. will approve and, and love this question. In a fight. Right. Freddie, Jason, or Chuck Norris, who wins? Oh, Jason wins. Jason? H- hands down. How so? How many times have you seen him die? Many times. Right. He's, you can't kill Jason. Neither can you kill not, uh, Chuck Norris. Uh, I think I think something's going to kill him pretty soon. Chuck Norris is a little I frail. I dare you talk like that, sir. I uh, dare you. Dude, right now, I could kick Chuck Norris's ass. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. That guy, he come rolling up in his walker, and I'd just take a step back. You know, I'd do a little head fake. But he has a thing that you don't have. He has the stretchy jeans. Uh, yeah, you know what? He he might have the stretchy jeans from the eighties. But you know what's in there is he's got like 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 a big like bag collecting all his pee. The guy <laughs> fought Bruce Lee on the screen. Sure, I could kick Bruce Lee's ass right now too. 
Wow, big claims, folks. Big claims. Bruce Lee would be like a million years old. Like probably I, probably I'm low on sure calcium. Probably is. low on calcium. Chuck Norris. Listen, he I'm might have a full Google right now. He might have a full head of hair. Hey Google, how old is Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris is eighty years old. Eighty years old, just it, like Sir Patrick Stewart. Eighty years old, I'd kick the fuck out of Chuck, no, Chuck Norris. I think that all the viewers here right now wish they could see you fight an old <laughs> guy. Freddy Krueger could kill me in his in in my dreams. Only in your sleep, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, Jason would like stab me with a big machete. Chuck Norris, all I got to do is hide his metamucil. <laughs> How about this favorite TV show of all times? Only one TV show, not movie. Yeah, TV show. There it is. Series. It's a show called Life. Okay. Starring Damian Lewis. It ran for two seasons. Okay. It, the story's about a it's a it's a kind of a cop procedural drama, part mystery. I think it's on Netflix. It's it's an excellent show. Anyways, Damian Lewis, the redhead guy from Band of Brothers. I love that guy. And billions. And billions, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He plays a cop that gets tried for murder and convicted for murder, goes away. It set, serves something like seven years. Then new evidence comes out that clears him. He wins a huge lawsuit against the LAPD, and part of his settlement is he gets his old job back. So he's got millions of dollars that he got in his settlement, so he's rich. And now he has to come back and work with the people that put him away. Ah. Right? And so he's and now trying to, he's trying to find the people that killed his family. Interesting, and it's so good, and the ending life. is so good. Yeah, it's called Life, and it's so good because as a cop, he's not only is he a cop, but he's a guy that's just spent seven years in prison. He was so he's in kind Homeland of a, too, by the way, for many many seasons. Yes, that's Homeland, right, yes. Homeland. I can't recommend that show enough. It's excellent. I love that guy. We'll make sure to, and you should also make sure to. Watch, watch this. Li- if you life. like billions, you like life. It's so good. He's so good at it. And the conclusion and very last question on this train wreck of a vlog, sir. Oh, it's not a train Are you wreck. It's so good. I'm ready. Best life lesson learned from you, Mr. Savant Mike. Oh, man. I got to think. Because you know what? I'm. You can go deep. I'm really bad at life. If you cry on camera, it would oh, even dude, help. You would the do that to me. And, hey, you do that to me. You would. You, 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 know, you get me crying on camera. I'd love it because it's more viewers. I might actually get a sponsorship for All right. this. Brought to you by Kleenex. It's real simple. It's real simple, and it's the hardest thing. It's the hardest thing. To be mindful of when it's happening to you. Nothing is as bad as it seems. Interesting. Nothing is as bad as it seems. Yep. You're going to get through everything. Yep. Everything that's bad that's happening to you. I'm a person that's had some bad things happen. You know, I think when I look back, I go, man, how did I ever fucking survive that thing? But then I realize, no, like if I... If I would have called it quits at any point, you know, between there and here, I wouldn't be here. And here is awesome. Yeah. And even if here sucks a little bit, well, whatever's going through right now, it's going to pass. And then tomorrow is, is coming, right? You know, like you hear people go, oh, I'm suffering. This is, a, this is a common thing that comes up because we live with... Uh, my partner's mother who lives downstairs and she's older and she I kind of hear this sentiment every once in a while like and uh, and she's not the first person who is older that I've heard that heard say this is like oh just be kind of happy when you know part of me is going to be happy when you know when it's done yeah I'm never that guy good I want more I always want more stuff good I want more life I want more laughs I want more time with friends. I want yeah. more experiences. I want to do more. I want to do. I want. I want to. Even if it's watching YouTube, I want to watch one more YouTube. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I want to smoke one more thing of pot. I want to have one more beer. I always want one more. So don't give up. Keep don't your heads gi- up. Don't give up. Don't be a defeatist. You know what? If you if you make yourself lose, like if you defeat yourself, that's the worst kind of defeat. Right. You know, let something else beat you up. But don't don't take yourself out of the game. Yeah. Let the game take you out. Well said. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Brilliant answer. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, that should be a, a slow clap with a cigar and a glass of cognac right now. <laughs> but Brought to you by Corona. I, I will do this in post. Uh, well, there you go, ladies and gents, mesdames and messieurs, uh, from the horse's mouth, Mr. Savant Mike. <laughs> any last words that you'd like to share with uh, any websites or movies or TV shows that you think you should educate people? Okay, well, here's the thing. There's an independent film coming out. It's called Shifted. 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 You're going to see it. You're going to want to watch it because I'm in it. Ooh. Yeah, I play a pretty big role. I'm kind of a big deal. You're the French maid, uh, aren't you? I'm an actor. You're an actor. I'm an actor. Anyways, you're going to love it. Um, it's not out right now, but tomorrow I'm going to go see the first rough cut of the movie. Ooh la la. With the, uh, with the director and the producer. And some of the other crew, and it's going to be amazing. You name like your cousin and Adrian. Yeah, Adrian, so Adrian Constant, Jason Green. The, they're the uh, director producer team behind that, and uh, I'm just the actor. The actor. And uh, there's other actors too. It's not just like me for a couple hours. Although that wouldn't be bad. I think we should have an entire TV show based around you, sir. Totally. A totally TV show. I don't know. Yeah. Like, uh, like, what it appeals that, to that my vanity with uh, um, uh, Ace Venture actor, Canadian guy. Oh my god, uh, he, Jim Carrey, he, yeah, the Truman Show, right? Something or they followed him around, you know, they could have some, yeah. They, they, <laughs> that camera crew would spend a lot of time in the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> I know because the last two or three chats you and I have had on, on the internet, on the interwebs, yeah. It's like, hey, Sab, great to hear from you. I'm doing business on the throne right now. <laughs> well, it's, okay, there's a couple, there's like, here's, there's, there's shits you take that are like emergencies. Yes. And then there's shits you take that are kind of like utilitarian. Like, it's seven in the morning. <clears throat> I got to start my work day. If I don't have one now, I'll have one in the middle of a meeting or something. And I think my next podcast ever should be called Poop Talk with you and Rebecca Morland. Marwood, a.k.a. Marwood. Yeah, I totally talk shit. Because talk, talk you guys and, both can talk shit. You call it talking, sh- talking shit with talking shit with Becky and Mike. Well, there you go, folks. Next podcast or next thing that should be posted other than these geeky vlog I've been posting will be what's it called? Talking shit with Use Becky your radio and Mike. voice and like Talking shit with Becky and Mike. There we go. Fucking A. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Time well wasted. Like I've said in previous vlogs, do not eat gums on their tables. Stop licking rocks on the sidewalk. Have you ever COVID? Eat, have you ever eaten a gum under the table? Uh, at the request of my counselor, I will choose not to answer the question as the answer might serve to incriminate me. I have. I've done it. I'll play the fifth. I've done it even as a kid. Every once in a while, you find one that stuff. Done more than that. Sometimes too. you still find one with flavor in it. <laughs> oh my god! There you go, folks. How can you not love this? How can you not love this guy? <laughs> Poop doc coming to you very nearly. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> see ya. This podcast brought to you by Corona Beer. Get 25% off your next case of Corona beer by text by using the offer code SEB. Somebody's going to do that. I like that. Somebody's going to do that. Right on. I have my list of questions here because I'm somewhere <clears throat> very... <clears throat> I feel like I'm really podcasting. You are. This is the first time I've actually did a podcast where I sit in front of a, a microphone that's on a stand. Really? Yeah. And I've done like a couple hundred of them. 
I'm sorry it does not happen for you. <laughs> but I'm delighted that finally it happened for you. I feel like a grown up. Like your virginity. I just took your virginity. I feel like a guy in Kentucky who just got his first gun. A Kentucky. <laughs> and then what? Um, so not uh I don't have COVID. I just have allergies. Yeah. That's what everybody says, by the way. That's true. 